On this RV decor series, I'm going to show you how I took a few simple items from the Dollar Tree and made me a charging station in my RV. Do It On A Dime has taken the napkin holders and made all kinds of organization items from them. So I took mine to the next level and changed it up a little bit to make a charging station in our RV. I did this probably about a year ago and it is super easy and anybody can do it. I also ordered something from Amazon to up the game and make it a little more convenient. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the Dollar Tree and find the napkin holders. These can be hard to find sometimes, but if you'll go to a couple of stores, I'm sure one of them will have them. So the first thing I did is I took these and I took zip ties and put them together. Now you can make this as big, as small as you want. You could just use one and not use zip ties. You could use two. For ours, I used three and put three of them together. So that way I had a space for three separate phones. But you can put two phones in one space. Now after I zip tied them together, I just spray painted mine black because that's what I thought I wanted to do. After I spray painted it black, then I was like, oh, wait a minute. So then I took some stuff out of my stash and made it a little more rustic. I keep twine all the time on hand, so I have like big rolls of it. And so I use that to wrap mine. But if you wanted to use Dollar Tree items, you could get this nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and wrap it and it would do just as good. You really, after you put the nautical rope, you could not put in the zip ties but I had already put my zip ties on and it helps hold it together while you're wrapping the rope on it. The zip ties are totally optional. You can take them and cut them off afterwards. But I just took and wrapped the rope around it. I hot glued it, I hot glued it. I hot glued the very beginning and then I just wrapped all the way over and then I hot glued the end to hold it. This, we've been using this a year and it has held up great. I love how rustic it looks. I still would have painted mine black, but you could leave it silver. You could leave it plain. You don't even have to put the rope on it. You might even think of something else that you'd want to put on there. You could put white nautical rope because Dollar Tree has white nautical rope as well. You could use that on it. There are so many options that you could make this totally your own. Now that I did this, I have a great place to put our phones. We have it right here by the door when you come in. And what I ended up doing is in our grand design, it had two plugs and it had two USB plugs. Where I have this, I have my weather station and my WeBoost. So that took up the two plugs. So I was either gonna have to unplug one of those when I needed to plug something in or just use the USB cables. So I went and found, and I got a black one because ours is dark, but they make them in white and black. What I ended up getting has five plugs in it, and it has two USBs and a USB-C. So now at my charging station, I have five plugs, four USB plugs, and a USB-C to charge. So right here, I can charge almost anything I need, and we charge a lot of camera gear too, so I use this as our charging area for that as well. Now the plug that I found, what I loved about it, it gave you five plugs off of two plugs, but it really doesn't take up a whole lot more space than what was already there. This charging area has just worked perfect for us. Well, I hope this inspires you to go and make your own charging station in your camper. Till next time, like and subscribe.